What's happening guys, Sony released a new trailer for Into the Spider-Verse sequel across the Spider-Verse. The sequel going to be the first part in a two-part story ending with Beyond the Spider-Verse and both will focus on Miles Morales' multiversal adventure. Into the Spider-Verse had Spider-People across Multiverse came to help Miles in taking down Kingpin. Now, the sequel deals with Miles' journey across the Spider-Verse with new and old friends. Welcome to Popcorn Factor and let's count down every Spider-Man variant. Number 1 Miles Morales Shamik Moore returns to voice Miles Morales, who's now cemented himself in his reality as Spider-Man. He gets an unexpected visit from Gwen Stacy, who introduces him to a conglomerate of alternate spiders from across the multiverse. But, it appears that Morales does something that causes all of them to see him as the enemy, so in this animated sequel, he seems to be a Spider-Man on the run. And... He never... Number 2 Spider-Cop Seen in the trailer directing traffic as thousands of spiders walk and swing by, looking more like a mall cop than a spider cop. What began as a simple running gag in Marvel's Spider-Man during a morally questionable side quest spiraled into the entertaining or problematic Spider-Cop. Number 3 Spider-Gwen Voiced by Haley Steinfeld, Gwen Stacy returns to surprise Morales in his room through an interdimensional portal. She helps introduce Morales to a whole new world. However, once Morales is made the enemy, she questions the group's intentions, we're supposed to be the good guys, to which O'Hara rebukes, we are. Number 4 Miguel O'Hara Miguel O'Hara made his debut in the post credit scene of Into the Spider-Verse in iconic Spider-Man pointing meme. The credit scene revealed that Miguel is recruiting Spider-People for an important mission that yet to be revealed. The trailer shows Miguel chasing Miles for an yet be known reason, he's determined and somewhat serious about his mission to succeed. Number 5 Werewolf Spider-Man the Amazing Spider-Man Full Circle comic storyline dealt with a universe where everyone on Earth is turned into werewolves, including Peter Parker. Number 6 Jessica Drew also known as Spider-Woman The reveal of Jessica Drew's appearance in Across the Spider-Verse is bit of a surprise, voiced by Issa Rae. This version may be a blend of pregnant Jessica Drew from the comics and the first-ever Spider-Woman Valerie the Librarian with organic webbing like Cindy Moon's Silk. Number 7 Spider Monkey Spider Monkey is a version from Marvel Comics' run of Marvel Apes, he's an anthropomorphic monkey from a universe of anthropomorphic animals. Spider Monkey is seen in the far-off background for a handful of frames. Number 8 Peter B. Parker Voiced by Jake Johnson fan favorite Peter B. Parker returns in the sequel as reintroduced in a bathrobe he's keeping an eye on his daughter and giving her a chance to meet the spider people. A baby with radioactive blood is one thing that surprises even her dad. Number 9 Takuya Yamashiro, also known as Japanese Spider-Man. This incarnation has become another fan favorite, originating from a Spider-Man licensed Japanese show from the 70s. While he was only loosely based on the character, it doesn't matter to fans, it especially helps that he comes with a giant mecha, Leopardin, which will hopefully accompany him in sequel. Number 10 May Day Parker After her father, Peter Parker, was gravely injured in a fight with the Green Goblin, he retired as Spider-Man and May Day continued in his stead. One of the most popular spiders among comic fans is May Day Parker. Number 11 Spider Armor Mark III An even more durable variation of the armor that Parker first wore in Amazing Spider-Man number 682 as a last resort against the Sinister Six is seen tackling Miles. Number 12 Hobart Brown, also known as Spider-Punk. Appearance of Spider-Punk in the sequel has been teased by merchandise that released as a part of movie's promotion. Hobart Brown made his debut in Spider-Verse 2 who led a rebellion against Osborn. MCU actor Daniel Kaluuya is confirmed to voice the character. Number 13 Spider-Armor Mark II. At one point Peter Parker loses his spider sense which creates problems for the webhead, like not able to dodge bullets and hits. After being forced into a corner by a villain with ammo and hostages to spare in Amazing Spider-Man issue number 656, he builds a bulletproof suit to protect himself and the hostages from the bullets. Number 14 Ben Riley, also known as Scarlet Spider. Ben Riley made numerous appearances in Across Comics and Animation Serials. To explain his origin in simple words, he's a clone of Peter Parker. 
Riley decided to create his very own identity known as Scarlet Spider, another fan-favorite character to appear in the movie that surprised everyone. Number 15 PlayStation Spider-Man The most bizarre cameo in the trailer is what many believe to be Spider-Man from Neversoft's Spider-Man on the original PlayStation from year 2000. Number 16 Spider-Man India in the first glimpse of Across the Spider-Verse, Universe of Spider-Man India is teased, but now it's confirmed that Prabhakar who made his debut in Spider-Man India Issue 1 will appear, with a new and improved design rather than his comic appearance. 17. Bombastic Bagman After Reed Richard helped Peter Parker separate the symbiote from himself, in Amazing Spider-Man Issue 258 Peter's identity left exposed, quick thinking from Johnny Storm, he was helped to make a costume. Number 18 Marvel's Spider-Man An Easter egg from Insomniac Spider-Man already appeared in the original film. So it's not a surprise that the makers decided to add the version to the movie. We can see he's having a conversation with Miles Morales, but which version of Miles is yet be seen on the big screen? Number 19 Mangaverse Spider-Man this version of Spider-Man is inspired by Japanese manga and shown through the lens of American writers and artists. Number 20 Spider-Man Unlimited This version of Peter Parker had his own animated series called Spider-Man Unlimited, with sporting entirely new suit that made up of nanobots. This version finds himself transferred to Counter-Earth. The show was cancelled after one season due to unknown reasons, but it's fortunate that we got to see once more of this fan-favorite character. Hope you guys like our content, be subscribe my channel for more and I see you guys in the next video. Bye! World and do great big things. Not bad, kid.